I've been making videos for Ultimate Alliance 3 basically since the game came out. Um, I've done a lot of different things from character spotlights to character tutorials to tier lists to speed runs. There's just been a lot of things to cover. But you know what I've never once looked at over the course of playing this game? I haven't looked at the alternate outfits within the cast, and I thought that that would be something super fun to go through to just kind of name my personal favorites for each of the individual characters and maybe give a little bit of an explanation as to why I prefer those particular outfits. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. If you're excited to hear a little bit more about this, make sure that you drop a like on the video and I would invite you to subscribe for daily variety content if you haven't taken an opportunity to do that as of yet. So let's talk a little bit about my favorite outfits for the Ultimate Alliance 3 cast. Starting off, we have Black Panther. Black Panther, I really like his alternate coloring of the thrice-blessed armor, and a lot of that comes down to the fact that I like the purple undertone that is present with that. I just feel like it adds a lot of personality to the character in the outfit, just in general, and that is really a cool aspect for the outfit itself. For Black Widow, I like her white alternate coloration. I just feel like this is a very crisp and clean looking outfit for her. And there's a lot that I love about having a white outfit. Sure, it's not very tactical apart from like Siberian type outfits or out excursions that she might go out on. But it's a very well put together costume and there's a lot to appreciate here. For Captain America, I prefer his default outfit. I just don't feel like his super soldier outfit is particularly interesting. I don't really like the fact that he's not wearing a helmet and his hair is combed a little bit weird. Plus, most people don't know Captain America from having a holographic shield. That's a little bit of a newer thing. And I definitely fall into that category where it comes across as being a little bit weird. And I don't fully know how to process that so that's my thoughts on cap now for captain marvel i like the alternate coloration of her default outfit that gives her a little bit more of that kree coloration and pays homage to the origins of the character as she initially took up the mantle off of marvell that is just a really cool aspect of her character and this outfit now, for Crystal, I really like the alternate coloration of her Avengers outfit. There's just something about the black and silver that goes really well, or the black and gray, and I particularly enjoy the enhanced coloration of her hair taking on that more vibrant red as opposed to the uh, more of the orange color that it generally has. I just think that this works really well for her. For Daredevil, I love his Man Without Fear outfit, particularly the black sweats. I mean, I get that the red and gold ones are paying a little bit of a tribute to the original coloration of his original costume. I just feel like the black outfit is super awesome, and a portion of that probably goes back to the Daredevil TV show. But it's a great show that I thoroughly enjoy even today, and this outfit is a very good inclusion, in my opinion. Now with Deadpool, he actually has six different outfits, which is unique as he's really the only one in the cast who has more than just four options of outfits that he can go to. Admittedly, the shifts out the sh admittedly the chef's outfit he has is a reward for purchasing the DLC, but I honestly prefer the alternate coloration of his standard outfit because it's a nod to the X-Force outfit and that is a phenomenal storyline and I love that outfit so it's obviously my preference and one that I really like seeing Deadpool in. And for Doctor Strange this is going to be a little weird but I really like the alternate coloration of the Blue Mage outfit even though there's not a whole lot of blue there. It's just a very quirky addition to his character that I think is pretty endearing. And as a favorite character in the Marvel canon, I think that this is very unique for him. For Drax, 
I really like his Conquest alternate, and this is kind of a weird one for me, but I just like the forest green uh, outfit he has. It complements him very well. The only thing that I don't particularly like is this idle animation has a little bit extra movement in the belt, but I'm willing to look past that because that's just for this presentation render. For Elsa Bloodstone, I love the hot pink jumpsuit in the alternate coloration of her zombie hunter skin. This is probably a little more biased because pink is my favorite color, and this is a very well executed option for that color within the roster, but this is my list and I kind of get to speak on my personal preferences here, so that's what I'm going to do. Now with Falcon, I like the alternate coloration to his outfit that makes the red a lot more prevalent, and I love the white wings that go along with that as well because it allows him to be a little bit more flashy and flavorful and asking for attention on the battlefield. And for Gamora, I don't particularly care for her conquest alter I don't particularly care for her conquest alternate skins, but I do really like the darker coloration to the default skin because it just fits a little bit more with her assassin nature and would be a lot better in the terms of stealth when she's rolling out onto the battlefield. For Ghost Rider, I love the alternate coloration of his Ghost Racers outfit. The Hot Rod Red just really works, and it's faithful to Johnny Blaze's Ghost Rider because he got his start as a stunt artist on motorcycle. So everything about this outfit works really well for this character, and this is by far the flashiest option between the two of the Ghost Racers outfits. For Rocket and Groot, I don't particularly care for any of the alternate colorations, even on their just base coloration. The Conquest outfit I particularly don't like because I don't see Groot as wearing any sort of suit, as I feel like that's a bigger hindrance to him. So that kind of throws that off of the table. And again, the blue accents on Rocket's outfit just don't do it for me. So the default outfit is what I prefer here. For Hawkeye, I love the Ronin outfit. It's sleek, and it does very, very well for him. And I don't really care for the white with purple accents version of this outfit, because it doesn't really work as well as what Hawkeye was intending when he assumed the mantle of Ronin. So this is by far the best option, in my opinion, for outfits for Hawkeye. Now Hulk, I really like his Planet Hulk outfit. I don't particularly care for the red alternate coloration to it. I mean, cool, it pays a little bit of homage to Red Hulk, but we really only see the Gladiator version of Hulk in his regular form. We don't see Red Hulk with that. And so that's kind of where I love and prefer this skin and this version of the character's costumes. For Iron Fist, I absolutely love the alternate coloration on his uh, default skin because it's the immortal Iron Fist outfit. The sleek white jumper with the yellow accents, there's just so much good going on there. And what's not to love, really? This is a classic outfit for uh, Danny Rand's Iron Fist and there isn't much more that needs to be said here. I think this is one of the best outfits in the entire game. Iron Man is a little bit of a character that lets us down with the uh, alternate outfits that he gets. I don't particularly feel like the Extremis armor is great. It's too close to his regular. I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot of changes that are made to it that are noteworthy. And I don't particularly like the black and gold alternate costumes. So for him, I really prefer just his default. For Luke Cage, I really love his Power Man alternate costume because that's how I first was introduced to the characters when he was more widely known as Power Man. And for a long time, I referred to him more directly as Power Man. And it's only in more recent adaptations that Luke Cage is how he's been more commonly known as. 
but the little silver tiara that he's got, that's the version of Luke Cage that I was first introduced to and the one that I really appreciate to this day. And for Miles Morales, I love his streetwear outfit with the red jumpsuit or with the red hoodie that he's got on. That is a really fun and hip style for him. Hopefully he's not shopping like custom uh, dealers for those. Otherwise people are going to figure out who he is really quickly. But it's just something that's unique to a younger version of Spider-Man who wants to be a little bit more casual and I'm all for it. For Miss Marvel, I prefer her default skin. There's not a whole lot more going on here that really calls to my attention, and this is how most people know her because she is a relatively new character. Her alternate costumes just don't do it for me. I'm not saying that they're bad by any means, but this is by far how the character is most recognizable to most people who know of her. Nightcrawler looks really good in the alternate coloration for his default outfit. I just am a sucker for that original coloration of the X-Men outfits with the black on yellow, and with Nightcrawler that particular arrangement works really well. For Psylocke, I absolutely love this House of M outfit that she has. The purple dragon that's on her shirts and leggings there is an excellent detail. And I like the fact that she lets her hair down and she doesn't have her hair done up in a tight ponytail. There's just a lot of really good choices made with this outfit. And with Scarlet Witch, I genuinely prefer her original outfit because it has a nostalgic purpose to it and this is a very faithful recreation of that nostalgic original appearance of Scarlet Witch that uh, was in the early comics. I just kind of wish that she was a better character in this game, so I had more opportunities to use her as a character, but at the very least, this design is here. Next up, we have Spider-Gwen. I love this outfit. It's just such a cool take on the Venom symbiote, and Gwen pulls it off phenomenally. And as an added bonus, whenever you have this alternate skin selected, she reads off her voice lines in a Venomized voice, and that is incredible attention to detail that I have a lot of appreciation for. And continuing with that trend, I like Spider-Man's symbiote outfit as well. It's very crisp. The way that the spiders on the front and back of his outfit tie together is incredibly well executed. And the overall sleek design of this costume has a lot to love. Star-Lord, on the other hand, is one that I prefer in his basic costume arrangement. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that, yes, I don't particularly like the Conquest alternates for him, and most people know him in kind of this casual outfit from the media representations he's had up until this point. So this is where he's most recognizable, and this is what I like the most about how he's designed. Now with Storm, I like the alternate coloration that she has that changes the black for white, just because I feel like that makes a bit more of a statement for her and is a lot more well pronounced for the character in general. Now with Thor, this is another one where I prefer the basic version of his costume. Ultimate Thor is cool, I guess, because it allows him to use Stormbringer instead of Mjolnir, but I prefer his classic appearance and that's what we get with the default, so that's the one that I have a personal preference for. Venom looks amazing in the anti-venom skin that he has. I don't like the alternate color for it. The green, the pea green and yellowish gold doesn't do it for me. And the fact that he is able to, you know, use these attacks and manifest the color that he appears in when executing his attacks, such as stream attack or other abilities that he has, it just plays a lot better with the anti-venom skin than it does with the alternate coloration to it. And Anti-Venom is a phenomenal character, so having that as an available option is amazing. Wasp, I like the alternate coloration of her default skin where it swaps the black and yellow highlights. I just feel like that looks a little bit better for her. 
and I don't particularly like the classic suits because I think the helmet is super wonky, and I just kind of is a little off-putting for me. Now, for Wolverine, what's not to love about Old Man Logan? I love the faded leather jacket that he's got, and he's just been through some rough times, and this is where he shows it best. I don't particularly like the alternate coloration for Old Man Logan because I feel like the washed out jeans and the lighter leather jacket are not as well pronounced, but we at least have the quintessential appearance of Old Man Logan for all of us to appreciate. Now with Cyclops, I really prefer this original coloration. It's faithful to the original appearance of the character and that's how I associate him with. That's the memories that I have with Cyclops and I don't particularly like his Astonishing X-Men outfits because the jumpers look weird and the way that the jumpsuit wraps around his head is not great in my opinion. So I really prefer him in his default costume. Same thing goes for Colossus. This is the character that I knew and loved reading the comics growing up, and there's just nothing better than this red and gold outfit that he has. So I don't really entertain any of the other outfits. The Age of Apocalypse outfits are fine for what they are, but I know him best from his default appearance, and that's how I uh, prefer to use the character when I place him on one of my teams. Now, Electra, I really like the outfit where her default outfit has the black accents to it, or the dress therein is black, and then the uh, tie-ins that she has are still in that deeper red. I just feel like it makes her look a little bit more menacing and shows off her darker side a little bit better. And then for Loki, I prefer his default coloration as well. I don't particularly enjoy the silver accents because I don't see a whole lot of that from him. And his kid Loki outfits are fine for what they are, but that's not the version of the character that I know best. So yeah, the default is really what I prefer here. Now with Magneto, I really like his alternate coloration of his modern outfit. I just think that the white is a powerful statement because Magneto, in the more modern storylines, he is trying to do better. And the white outfit really kind of makes a powerful statement to that. And so I feel like that's the outfit that I have the most of uh, potent connection with. Thanos, I really don't like the alternate costume that he has. The Annihilation outfit is just kind of weird. I don't particularly like seeing Thanos without a helmet on. And the alternate coloration of the default with the silver just isn't as flashy in my opinion. And while we're talking about Thanos, Thanos Infinite has the same alternate costume options. And so that's the same preference that I have there as well, is just the standard default golden armor with the helmet equipped to it. Now for Punisher, I generally prefer his standard black with white, but for whatever reason, I really like this outfit that has the red accents to it. I just feel like it makes him appear a little bit more menacing, and the camo pants are a nice tie-in as well. So against what I would assume based off what I like about Punisher's character, this is the outfit that I prefer. Now for Blade, I don't particularly like any of his alternate outfits. The alternate coloration with the white and gold instead of black and silver is okay, but I really don't like the classic versions or the classic skins for this character. I just feel like they make him look a little too funky, and that's not what I prefer using. I feel like the black leather with the red accents is red and silver accents is by far the most appropriate representation of the character. Now with Moon Knight, of course his white default outfit looks great, but I really, really like the alternate coloration of his armored armor. And there's just a powerful statement of a mostly black outfit that has those red accents and the red pupils just tie everything together with this Moon Knight outfit. 
Morbius is another one that looks amazing in his alternate costumes, and I particularly prefer the Midnight Suns outfit. It just allows his hair to fly away and make him look a little bit more deranged and menacing, as well as that ragged black cape that flaps out behind him. There's just a lot going on here that adds some particular charm to the character and makes him a lot more terrifying as he is roaming around the battlefield. For Iceman, I actually prefer his all-new X-Men outfit that is mostly white with the powder blue accents because that ties in really well to Iceman's design and how he converts his body into ice when using his powers. I don't particularly like how they adapted the alternate coloration of the default skin because it's not as faithful to the original design for the character. Then again, it was just really boots and a snowman ice type figure, so I can understand the changes that they would go with. I just don't think it works as well for him as it does other members of this cast. And Gambit, I really like the default uh, alternate... Alter and for Gambit, I really like the alternate coloration of his default outfit. I just think that the black coat that he has on with the burgundy pants and gloves really sends a statement. And a part of that might be due to the fact that I have a black coat that is similar in design to the one that he's wearing. But it's just a powerful outfit for him and I really like it. For Cable, I like the alternate coloration for his default outfit. The black with red accents and red belts really ties him together quite well, and I think that it was done very nicely. I'm not huge on the green colorations that are on his gun, but I'm willing to look past them for the remainder of the outfit looking so sleek. I don't feel like the classic outfits were interpreted the best they could have been, so that's kind of why I'm turned away from using those, but in terms of the default outfit, the black coloration just really does it for me. And for Phoenix, I love the default alternate coloration. And for Phoenix, I love the alternate coloration to her default outfit because it's the Dark Phoenix outfit. And Dark Phoenix is an incredibly a compelling story in the comics and has a lot of weight behind it so this is a very clear option for me that the dark phoenix outfit is by far the best option that she has now for the members of the fantastic four i like their future foundation outfit they're really clean and they tie the group together very very well the problem with the Fantastic Four, though, is that they never had their fourth alternate costume added, and that's just kind of sad, because there's a lot missing from them in terms of the rest of the cast by not having that alternate skin available to them. Maybe when we eventually get it, if we ever do, it'll be my favorite, but I highly doubt that that's going to happen at this point in time, so we just kind of get to sit idly by. And for Doctor Doom, I really, really like his gold with black accents armor. This is a super menacing outfit that he has certainly a lot more menacing than the regular coloration on it doom 2099 is just a power pose in doom 2099 is just a power statement and i would be terrified walking into battle against this opponent and i would say that this is within the top three best outfits in the entire game but those are my preferences for the different characters and their outfits available in this game but what do you think i'm really interested to hear your thoughts so be sure to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite outfits are for any of the characters whether you agree or disagree with my takes on them i'm open to hear your feedback if you've made it this far into the video make sure that you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for that daily variety content as next Next week we have a very fun uh, retrospective back at the speedrunning history for Ultimate Alliance 3 and my journey this past year to claim all of the single player speedrun records. Thanks so much for your time and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.